Thank you for coming down, Mr. Nelson, and thank you, Mr. Yada, for the staff report. Just thought I'd um, put a couple things out there to maybe clarify it to my colleagues, and then I have a motion. But um, the BZA heard three different variance requests. They heard the side yard setback, which the BZA approved. Um, and I, I, I think based on the BZA's approval, I, they didn't find any errors there. The sidewalk articulation they did, denied, and I don't find any errors there. Um, but the BZA also denied uh, the height variance that is requested. Um, after reviewing the application on the appeal, I believe that there are both practical difficulties in complying with the height requirement, as well as specific circumstances unique to this property that were not created by the landowner. Um, so for the following reasons, um, both in finding three and finding four, I find errors. Uh, in finding three, the BZA erred in its finding addressing height under finding number three. The, app the applicant's desire to maintain the conformity in ceiling heights between those in the new addition and those in the existing house is a reasonable desire that is prevented by the 22-foot height limit in Planning District 14. Moreover, the height variance is being requested to facilitate a modern addition to an existing home rather than that for constructing a new home in the place of a home that was torn down. Because the original house was built with non-conforming side yard setback and the applicant is proposing to add to, rear, to the rear of the original house, the applicant is unable to take advantage of the code's height rules for side yard setback that allows a one foot increase in the building height for each foot the home is set back from the side yard up to a maximum of 35 feet. Finally, the requested height, 23 feet, 10 inches, should not be a appreciably noticeable because the increased height of the new addition is set back considerably from the public right away and will not be visible at all when viewed straight on from the street or alley. Um, there is no error on the part of the BZA in denying the sidewall articulation requirement. Granting the request building height variance will result in the sidewall that is approximately 50 feet in length and reducing the mass and mon monotony of a 50 foot long side sidewall is the purpose of the sidewall articulation requirement under the legislative code. In addition, it should be noted that the sidewalls of the existing homes on either side of 1946 Wellesley both feature what would constitute sidewall articulations. On finding under, number four, I find that the BZA erred with respect to, to this finding. In this case, because the applicant is requesting a height variance in order to add on to the existing home rather than tearing down the home and building a new home, the location of the house on the property, as noted under finding number three, is a circumstance unique to the property that was not created by the applicant. The applicant cannot avail itself to the height increase allowed based upon side yard setback because the applicant is bound by the existing circumstances of side yard setbacks on the existing home on the property. This finding is therefore met with respect to the requested height variance. Um, I'd also like to note, as was mentioned, that the homeowner um, went to the McAllister Groveland District Council uh, which recommended approval of this height variance. Um, additionally, um, all letters and notes that we received from the neighbors on the block um, <coughs> were in favor and support of this addition and believe that the height variance fit within the, um, fit within the character of the neighborhood. Um, because I believe that conditions three and four um, were met with regards to height, I moved to overturn the BZA determination on the height variance and um, and have the record reflect that. <laughs>